Hey guys, so Heidi with Successful Fashion Designer and today I want to do a quick product review on a plugin by Astute Graphics called Vector Scribe. Now the specific feature within the plugin that I'm going to show you is called Dynamic Measure. The plugin itself, Vector Scribe, has tons of tools and features and is super, super powerful. So I'm just going to show you one tiny little portion of it. Um, now I will tell you in advance, the plugin runs about $90 US, which may sound a bit pricey. But here's the thing, the way I look at some of these purchases is look at how much time it's gonna save you in your workflow and sometimes that time saved can be made up monetarily very quickly. So for me, I do a lot of artwork specs and I prep a lot of full scale artwork which is what I'm gonna show you how to do really quickly with dynamic measure. And for me, this can save me time within a couple weeks that pays for the plugin itself. Uh, they have a free 14 day trial so give it a shot and see if it's right for you. But let's jump into Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to work with the plugin. Now, what I've got in Illustrator is I've got my Garmin over here and I've got my full scale artwork. And I have my artwork prepped, as I said, to full scale. So if I select this and I come over to my transform dialog, you can see I've got it at about 28 inches tall. And I've got my pocket as well. So I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic measure tool to prep the artwork for your factory. Now before we do that, I want to show you how I would do this normally in Illustrator without using the Vector Scribe plugin and the Dynamic Measure tool. So I'm going to zoom in over here to my stripe. And when I send artwork to my factory, this is something you guys ask me all the time, I always tell them all the measurements for everything. And so if this is a stripe, this includes calling out the width of each stripe. And so this is whether it's a screen printed artwork or it's a yarn dye. Uh, art, it doesn't really matter what the format is. I always give them the exact measurements so I know what I'm going to get back. So if I were doing this in Illustrator Native, I would grab my pen tool and I would put a stroke color on of maybe red or so. And I want to make sure my smart guides are on and I don't think mine are on. So I'm going to choose view smart guides, command or control U. And then what I can do is I can come over here and I'm going to just click on this anchor point. I'm going to hold the shift key. I'm gonna drop another anchor point and we'll zoom in a little bit here. Now my stroke weight is a bit thin, so I'm gonna hit the return key to disconnect, come over to my stroke panel, I'm gonna bump up the stroke weight. Now, I'm gonna sort of shift over to the right and hold the shift key to drop another anchor point, hit the enter return key, disconnect, come back over here. And the reason I'm sort of doing these offset is so that I don't have just one continuous path running down my artwork because that would not be very visually functional if I'm trying to prep this artwork. What I do now is I can just bump the artwork over a hair so these are not directly on top of it and I'll grab this path with my selection tool. I'll come over to my transform panel. I will copy this value, command or control C, come over to my document, command or control V to paste that and I will do it so on and so forth for each stripe measurement. Command or control V, so you can see this is pretty tedious. I'm grabbing the measurement of the height of this path and then copying out of the transform panel and then manually pasting it in. Now if I decide I want to prep this in millimeters or my factory comes back to me and asks me for millimeters, I've got to come over to File, Document Setup, and I've got to change my units to millimeters and then basically do it all over again. Otherwise, I could use this value and I could convert it to millimeters using a tool on the internet. Um, but either way, it's really, really tedious to do this. I would do the same for the pocket. So I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm gonna show you how you can do this with the measure, dynamic measure tool within Astute Graphics um, Vector Scribe plugin. So I'm gonna grab my dynamic measure tool. Now you won't see these tools on your toolbar. This is only gonna show if you have the plugin. Again, you can grab the free 14 day trial and give it a shot. Um, I'll link to it in the notes below in the description, but I'm going to grab my dynamic measure tool right away. It pulls up the dialogue or the, the dynamic measure panel. There's a bunch of settings in here. Again, I'm not going to go through everything um, and I'm not going to show you everything that the entire plugin does. This is just one little tiny feature, but within here, I want to just make sure I have distance checked and that's really all that I want. The other thing I might want to pay attention to is the units, but this can all be changed after the fact. So I don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh, I do want to pay attention to my scale. Now my artwork is at full scale. If your artwork was at 50% scale or quarter scale, you can change this to be at a different scale and I'll show you that in a second. But to start, I'm going to just grab my dynamic measure tool and it sort of works very similar to like smart guides. It's just going to kind of snap right to the anchor point. 
So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna drag all the way down. And again, I can hold the shift key to make that drag, make sure that drags perfectly vertical. And I'm gonna zoom in a hair because my some of my stripes are a little bit small. And so again, I will click and drag down, click and drag. And you'll notice what I'm getting is these measurements here. Now this is the cool thing, is that these are all dynamic, meaning they're still connected to the dynamic measure tool and they're still live and active. So you can kind of think of it if you do image trace on artwork and before you expand it, it's still dynamic. It's still connected to the image trace feature. So what I have the ability to do now is I can change my units after the fact. If I want them in millimeters, I can change them in millimeters, whatever measurement I want. I'm gonna keep mine in inches. And the other thing, I can also change my scale. So if I prepped all the artwork and I realized, you know what, shoot, it's actually in quarter scale. I could say, you know what, this is one to four. And then all these measurements will update for me. Now mine's not one to four, so I'm gonna keep it at one to one. And now all my measurements are correct. Once I know that they're all correct, I can do a couple things. I can come over here and I can hit the little down arrow key, which will convert that to actual artwork. So as they stand right now, these are again, dynamic features within Illustrator. If I save this as a PDF or if I print it, it's not gonna show up. But if I want this to be active artwork that I can actually edit and send to my factory, then I'm gonna either hit that little arrow at the bottom, otherwise I can choose convert all to art. Now, once I've done that, I'll zoom out a hair. I would come in and I might wanna bump my artwork over again. The other thing I might wanna do is I might wanna grab every other measurement and nudge it over so they're just a bit offset. I think it's a little bit easier to see. Now, if you're thinking, I usually prep my artwork with red arrows because I know a lot of us do, here's a cool way you can control this. The arrows within dynamic measure are linked to a graphic style, okay? So it automatically creates a new graphic style for you. If you're not familiar with graphic styles, I'm gonna put a video up on the, uh, on the screen right now. You can check that video out about how graphic styles work. But what this does is it automatically creates a graphic style for you. So if I don't like the arrows here and the color, I can redo that. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool and I'm just gonna draw a path. And I wanna make sure it has a stroke and no fill. And I wanna change the stroke to a bright red. And I also think I wanna make them a little thicker because with my artwork at this scale, you know, maybe it's just a bit too small. So I'm gonna go with a two point weight. Now I can grab my selection tool. I'm gonna to grab this path and I'm gonna drag it into the graphic styles. And instead of creating a new graphic style, I'm gonna hold the option or alt key until I hover over the dynamic measure graphic style that they created for me until I see the thick outline around that. Once I see the thick outline, I'm gonna release and it's gonna automatically update all of the paths that dynamic measure has used, okay? So I can continually change that until I get the right look. I mean, I, I know what I want, I just want like a two point red arrow so I can just do that once. Now the cool thing, let's come over to our pocket and let's prep our pocket. So I'm gonna grab my measure tool and I'm gonna click and drag over to the side and then I want a measurement along the height here on the side. I also want a measurement right along the center front at the deepest portion. And then I want a measurement right here so I know what the hem height is, uh, the stitch line for the top of the pocket. Now I can come over, click convert all to art, and let's use our selection tool to nudge these off a little bit. So you'll notice that all of my arrowheads are now red and they're a little bit thicker so I get exactly what I want because everything is pulling from this graphic style. Now, by default, the measurement goes on the right-hand side. If I don't want it on the right-hand side, these are all grouped by default, which is really nice. So I can just grab my selection tool, nudge this over, excuse me, my direct selection tool, nudge that font over, re-grab my selection tool, the black arrow, and nudge that measurement over. Now, at this point, if my pocket wasn't drawn 100% to scale, which sometimes it's not perfectly accurate, I might say, you know what, this is actually 3.75. All of this is editable text. And so it's very easy for me to come in here and change these values. Let's say we want this to just be 1.00. So it's super, super quick to come in, edit the values, change the point of measure, um, excuse me, the unit of measure, change the scale, all these other things. So again, if you prep a lot of full scale artwork, or prep a lot of measurements for production, 
this is a really, really fast way to do it and definitely less tedious than the way Illustrator does it. So check it out at stoopgraphics.com. Again, I'll put the link to everything in the description below and check out the free 14 day trial to see if it's the right tool for you. There's also tons of other features within the plugin. So take a look at those and thanks for watching guys. I am So Heidi with Successful Fashion Designer. If you like what I'm doing, check out my site at successfulfashiondesigner.com. I give away tons of other content, tutorials, templates, and free material that you don't see here on YouTube. And I would love to get to know you a little better. See you soon.